first you want to take off the cap from the brake fluid reservoir. Next, you want to loosen your wheel lug nuts. Now, properly elevate your vehicle. I used a floor jack, jack stand, and I blocked off both the front wheels to keep the vehicle from rolling. After removing your tire, you will want to take the caliper apart first by removing the 12 millimeter bolts holding it together. After removing the bolts, you want to wiggle the caliper and pull it off. Next, take off the outside brake pad, but leave the inside brake pad that is attached to the piston. You can use this pad to squeeze the piston back in. Push the piston back in with your hand or channel lock. Now take off the old brake pad and set the caliper piston on the vehicle frame. Now test your caliper pins and make sure they move freely. You only need to take them out if you think they need to be re-greased. If you were only replacing the brake pads, you could just put the new pads on right now. But we are replacing the rotors too. To do this, the caliper bracket must be removed. The bolts holding it on are 17 millimeter, and I use my 3 8 breaker bar to get them loose. Remove the screw that holds on the rotor. Once done, remove the rotor. Don't forget to remove the dust cap from your old rotor and place it on the new rotor. This dust cap keeps the dust out of the emergency brake system and is removed when you need to make an adjustment. I took this opportunity to spray brake cleaner on the emergency brake system. If you ever wondered what brake cleaner was good for, this is it. Put on the new rotor and replace the rotor retaining screw. Reinstall the caliper mount bracket. Remember these are the 17mm bolts. When tightening the bolts, just use your ratchet. Don't use your breaker bar. Breaker bars are for breaking a bolt loose, not tightening one. Compare your old and new brake pads to know which ones go on the wheel you are working on. On this brake pad, there are three prongs on the back. You might want to bend them a little bit before pushing them into the piston. Now put on the other brake pad. Set your caliper aside and replace the retaining clips if your new brake pads came with them. You have one on top and one on bottom. When you install the new brake pad retaining clips, they just snap in. Okay, got it. You might need to wiggle the caliper to get the brake pads in place before you put the 12 millimeter bolts back in. Repeat these steps for the other side of vehicle. Don't forget to tighten your lug nuts. Last step. Put the brake fluid reservoir cap back on. 